Hey, what's up, folks? It's Shale here. Just wanted to do another talk, nerd talk, where I cover the subject of the, the way sci-fi and nerdy franchises out there right now, and how, in my opinion, they're falling apart. I did a previous video where I talked about Star Wars is falling apart, and that's very much true. I mean, within the past few weeks, numerous Star Wars projects have been canceled. I mean, ever since Disney authorized Star Wars, They've canceled numerous projects that are in the works, but as time progressed, they lost funding for other projects they're working on under their umbrella. Like Star Wars 1313, that was canceled, and numerous other Star Wars games have been canceled in the past few couple years. Um, like, uh, for example, they've, they've gone with cheap and affordable Star Wars games for a long time. Even after they bought the rights of the franchise, they played it too safe, in my opinion, when it came to Star Wars gaming content. Um, Battlefront 2 is good, I like it, but aside from that, it's been really cheap. Excuse me. It's been really cheap as fuck. It's been really cheap. It's been very cost effective, and they're really turning the fran- the way they're going about the expanding universe is also very cheap, where they're just release- they're releasing there's a difference between the previous expanding universe and this one. They're not going to take many chances. They're not taking many chances in this new in this new expanding universe. It's very simple, very co not not complex, very um, hey, what's this for a video game or a book or a um, well or this or that or a product to sell the universe? Well, the old universe, in my opinion, sold its universe through. D and D games. It's sold them through art, RPG books, comics, and I will give this: the Disney comics for Star Wars are very good. I do enjoy the Aftermath trilogy, but I just feel like the way they've been marketing the novels has been really crappy. And just the fact that they're just handling this like it's a business instead of a world-building, ever-evolving fantasy slash philosophical universe like the previous canon. I am very much opposed to this, how they're doing it. They're, they're selling it like a franchise where the old canon was sold as a mythos. That's my issue with the new writing staff. Um, I think the new Thrawn novels are pretty good, but aside from that, it's just, it lacks the soul. I mean, you're, you're going, you're not going as deep as the old books did. You're not flushing out plots farther than just a single book. The Aftermath Trilogy was like the only book series in the new canon that actually had a, that was kind of a trilogy or linear based storyline with how the effects from one novel carry over to the other. It's just a bunch of standalones with this new, with this new canon. Just randomly throwing things out there, not really continuing it much past the point of complexity. Um, aside from that, I mean, just they, they canceled the new Star Wars trilogy they were going to do. They, Star Wars Resistance looks like trash. It looks like absolute bullshit. Um, they're just, yeah, they're just, they're, the way they're handling this, this franchise is terrible. Um, I've even got, I used to obsess about Star Wars, like write my own stories, tell my own stories, create my own adventures in Kotar and Swoter. But now it feels like it's not even worth the time anymore. It's just not that immersive in the universe anymore. I don't love Star Wars as much as I used to. I've, that's sad. I grew up watching Star Wars and reading Star Wars and breathing Star Wars. And now it's gone. Well, not gone, gone, but it, just, it feels so much less than what it used to be. Never thought I would see that day. Um, the other issues I'm finding in the Star Wars franchise are just, you're not doing as many D&D Star Wars games as you should, not many RPG books, not as many actual single-player stories. The fallen... Jedi Order, that looks kind of cool. Should be decent. At least as good as Battlefront 2, if not better. Um, but in general, this is the way they've been handling numerous installments of the franchise. has been very disappointing. Um, I thought Rebels was trash. That's just me. Well, something else I've been noticing with the Star Wars series is... Just look at Solo. It wasn't that good, okay? The fact is, they have all these. They have all. They started these projects halfway, then they cancel them, or they do them half-ass. So you can just put a Star Wars stick, sticker on it, and it's good. Solo was not that good at all. I thought it was very rushed, and unlike Rogue One, it was 
it was and is complete or is well done following the previous release. I thought Force Awakens was terrible. I thought Last Jedi was better than Force Awakens. It's just me, though. But it feels like the movies have lost their touch. It's like, when it comes to, like, Marvel and Star Wars and other franchises as well, like DC, the Hollywood formula has just started treating movie franchises and IPs like they're the like they're COD, like they're Call of Duty. Like, let's just create this, a unique thing for this, that makes it different than the last installment we made, and just keep kinding sing, these things out like cookie-cutter franchises. It's, it's stupid. I hate that. Marvel can pull it off somehow. I don't know how, but they do. Well, even then, it's still kind of cheap. There's the marketing... And this is just crappy as hell. I did like Infinity Wars, but that's about it. Um, the other issue I have isn't even just Star Wars; it's Star Trek Discovery. The Star Trek Discovery, just like in the broader sense of what I'm talking about here, with all these like sci-fi reboots, whether it be Stargate, Star Wars, X Files, eh, slightly different. But with all these new franchises they're bringing back with new life, it feels like they're not treating this like it's a like it's a they're not treating it like a continuation. They're just, um, corporate greed and the writing industry is just clashing heads and they're just destroying the franchise in the process. It feels like every sci fi film or hero movie has to try and be a piece of the SJWs and try to play it safe. They don't go as far as they used to, they don't go for the deep lore, the deep philosophical meanings in their universes anymore. Star Trek needs to be very deep and philosophical. There's, it feels like Discovery is just an attempt. Now, I'm not saying... Look, when I say this, do not misunderstand me for sexist. It just feels like they're trying to play off gender norms, play off social justice warrior issues. It just it doesn't feel like it used to. I'm not against female strong characters. I'm not against a female Vulcan being a, a captain. I like that. But my issue with it was it just felt so crappy and so cheaply made that they're using the SJW thing as a way to keep people from protesting against them. And once again, I have nothing wrong with gay or female characters being leads. I want more of that. But I want them to be more developed. And it just felt like start, this new Star Trek thing was Discovery. They were trying to appease to a newer generation that didn't exist. They were trying to be more hip, more in your face about things, without that philosophical space adventure that Star Trek generally is. It felt like the, the redesign of the Klingons, the prequel nature. It just felt like a classic prequel idea where we take a sci-fi IP, put someplace in a different part of the timeline, make it more gritty and up-to-date for the today's youth, putting some other philosophical things in there, being, here's my paycheck. And it did not feel like that. I mean, Star Trek Discovery did not feel like an actual Star Trek series. I felt like they were trying to be more into too gritty but I felt like they're trying too hard, and they lost some of what made them Star Trek along the way. And once again, I'm not against female characters. I much prefer a female character who is hot and badass, but at the same time... Look, what I'm trying to say is, I like female characters who are awesome, badass soldiers, but have a good backstory all at once. Like Basilo Shan, Samus Saran, um, Satil Shan, uh, Mara Jade... Badass space warrior women, but have complex stories on the way. Like, I love Mara Jade. She was a mother, a freaking starfire pilot, a smuggler, a Jedi warrior, a Jedi master, and a, ma a Jedi leader. And she was the perfect character. Now, and I feel like we're losing that kind of writing technique in, with our new characters. And the same thing with gay characters. They're only there because they're your stereotypical gay character. It feels like in the 90s when we, had, we were first trying these tropes, we were better at doing it than we are now. Ironically and sadly. <clears throat> um, this, and the other thing is, Star Trek Discovery just fell apart around itself. So I still think it's a good series, but there are still some gnawing problems at it. Just reconning everything and without trying to go for consistency or trying to stay true to what your lore was established or just throwing things out random without much build up or gumption or movement towards it without being properly set up. I think this is crappy writing. 
Don't get me wrong. I'm not okay. I'm, I'm fine with Spock having an older sister. She's great. But still. Um, the other issue I have is also the new Stargate series. I thought it was decent. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I thought it was really choppy and she produced, but still, it's in the Stargate SG One and the last beta me is just so desperate for new Stargate content that I kind of not forced, but maybe forced is the right word, but I came to accept that this is new content and I'm gonna watch it nonetheless. I want a sequel to Stargate Universe and Stargate Atlantis, and we kind of got that out of the Stargate books, but come on, you gotta do more than that. I'm sorry, but you gotta do more than that. Um, that's just, it feels like the industry is turning actual writing and artistic world building and turning it into a money grabbing, soulless industry. That's just me. I could be wrong, but this is how I see things. What I miss is the old days when it came to like shows like Stargate SG One, who actually they took the time to write the show, to produce the show, and they created like a build up to certain events, build up to characters, and not just like generic Hollywood copyright cookie cutter like stereotypical characters. They were very complex. Teal'c, Samantha Carter. These were characters that we got to see evolve over time. I mean, it wasn't doing, like, some heroic, badass space marine thing. It was watching them watch a movie of Star Wars on a Friday night and laughing as they at their reactions to it. Or shows like Charmed, just the way the sisters would, you know... Shows like Supernatural and Charmed are dying out, in my opinion. Just the way... A character evolves over time. You see them go for different relationships. You see the drama. You see the loss. You see relationships on screen that aren't just about, hey, let's get as much nudity in here as we can. But you get to see them evolve over time, spend time with each other. And yeah, you don't see as much tape, especially in shows like Charmed and Supernatural. But you do see emotion. You see humanity. You see commitment. And I think we're really losing that in the industry. We're just doing it, we're replacing the, the emotions of the scene with how much we can get away with on screen. No, Now, don't get me wrong, I love Game of Thrones. I love the sex scenes in Game of Thrones. I love them to death. They're great. And I'm going to defend people and say, this is not porn. If you call porn, I will really attack you. I personally have an issue with the porn industry. I have several issues with it. But that's just me. I think it it's destroying people it's destroying people's expectations of relationships making it unrealistic not to mention it's just becoming another drug and i'm not talking about this from a religious standpoint i'm talking about this from a psychological standpoint but no game of thrones they use the sex and the nudity to tell a story i like that there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with nude nudity and art nothing wrong with it at all just how you go about displaying it is the thing but do I think some franchises should avoid having nudity in it? Like Star Wars? Yeah, I do. Say with, say with the, the Slay Princess Leia outfit. That's great. There's a time and place and intent for how you display things and how you go about doing things. Time and place and intent are, what, are how I describe every human concept. Every human action. Um... But when it comes, I think we've lost that in the modern day film industry. I think we've lost our ability to show things in meaningful ways. Now, I'm not, I'm, you can call me old fashioned. I just, I don't know. I mean, It's complex. I think we need to get back more of the old-fashioned storytelling element into our stories, good character writing. And we have to spend more money on writing and less money on, like, covering nude shots. I'm fine with that. But once again, I'm not against nudity in film or art. I'm against how you display it and what you're focusing your show's money on. That's one thing I will say. Ah, <sighs> man. I'm weird. 
Well, peace out, folks. Um, yeah, if you like this video, drop a comment. Um, see you around. Peace out. See you later. May the force be with you.